Hello, I'm Jerry Fort. I'm going to review some stupid, hot pork rinds <clears throat> from Porking Good. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> These are extremely spicy flavored chicharrones fried pork rinds. <clears throat> Lauren, one of the owners of the company, says that take this, I don't know, she didn't really put it this way exactly, but take this seriously because they didn't mess around when they, when they, when they made these hot. So, <clears throat> and I've had a couple of my, my uh, subscribers say, that they've tried them and they are they're wicked hot they're gonna be hot so I mean, i've tried some really I mean, i've tried some hot stuff okay so i'm kind of in i'm a little bit up the scale from wimp to like experienced maybe a quarter of the way experienced with hot stuff so I'm a, I'm a little nervous to try these i'm gonna be honest uh, I, i've got I'm, eat, I'm gonna eat them with my sloppy joe my manwich sandwich um and i got a rocky mountain uh, soda company uh, elderberry drink and i have my water just here so <clears throat> i'm kind of prepared for it so Let's read on the back. What does it say here? Did we make the world's hottest pork rind? We don't know. But we will say that these extremely spicy flavored chicharronas seriously live up to the name Stupid Hot. Be warned that this heat isn't for everyone. There you go. The ingredients is pork rinds, in parentheses, cooked in pork fat, um, salt, spices jalapeno uh, jalapeno dehydrated sodium diacetate and spice extractives so there you go let's see let's see what we got <clears throat> They don't look scary. Oh, Lauren sent me this hat and a shirt. I can't wear the shirt at work because it'd be too hard to, you know. <laughs> See, they don't look scary, do they? I mean, let's just say, you know, they were like deep red or something. Now, that would be scary, but they look, you know, is this like a, a sheep and wolf's clothing type of thing? <clears throat> Let's get a whiff here. Well, they don't smell scary. I mean, you know, usually if you smell something hot, your nose kind of flares up, you know. They don't smell scary. But look at that skull. And the fire coming out of his skull. Should I, like, put the whole thing in my mouth and just get after it? Or, or should I just take a little bite? Or, you know, what should I do? <coughs> <coughs> would, this, would this cure a cough? I know my subscriber is going to want me to put the whole thing in my mouth. So, just going to get ready. <coughs> <clears throat> I 
<coughs> Crispy, crunchy. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Salty. It's making me cough. The heat, the heat is coming on pretty quickly just inside your mouth and inside the cheeks, roof of your mouth, on the tongue. It's staying tolerable. I lick on the swallow is where it's going to get me. Here we go. Just a little perspiration there. It grows. <clears throat> yeah, it, it grows slowly. Um, like if you don't rinse it, it'll just keep on <clears throat> getting hotter and hotter. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> I, really, I apologize for the coughing. And if my coughs, they hang on for so long. Um, if I waited for them to go away totally, I would never do any reviews. So I just hope that people will forgive the coughing stuff. Hmm. You know, these may not be, and a lot of products are like this. They may not be, like, consistently covered. Like, some are covered with a little bit more of a, you know, ingredients. And then some are just, like, didn't get hit as much. You know what I mean? So, I may have got one of the more mild ones. There's a little bit more powder maybe on this one. See them red crevices right there? <clears throat> and these are so light. <coughs> and I want to say <coughs> fluffy. <coughs> they just... <coughs> I swallowed it. <clears throat> it's coming on. <clears throat> Toward, toward the esophagus back here. <clears throat> Getting some snifflage here. <clears throat> Let's see how it goes with, with the manwich. See how it pairs with it.
God's good with it. I want to... <clears throat> I want to eat one and try to give you, you know, the description. I'm worrying too much about the heat and not thinking about giving you the review of not just the heat tolerance, but um, also the flavor profiles I'm getting. <clears throat> nice pork rind flavor. I love the I love the <coughs> the lightness of them. They describe <coughs> their texture is melts in your mouth type texture. And Jeremy, before I read that information, he said these things kind of just like melt in your mouth. They're so so light and There's other spices in this too. Um, it might be like, <clears throat> this is spices in general. It might be like a little bit of garlic and onion powders in there. <clears throat> this is a really good flavor. Really good in my mouth. Like, yeah, it's on fire. <laughs> I'm getting ready to need a Kleenex. These are good. Boy, they. <clears throat> the, the, you you would have to unless you're like used to heat the heat in food like this the spiciness you would have to like take a break in between each one <clears throat> you eat these things one after the other because that that intensity it's gonna it's gonna build like it is right now excuse, excuse me just a minute Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> the aftertaste is, you know, just a good flavored pork rind. Um, you get a little bit of that. I think it's garlic in there. You get a little bit of that. Um, maybe some paprika. Um, this is a good, fun product. <clears throat> um, so, you guys know how much of a wimp I am about about the spiciness in foods it's getting me but it's not <coughs> it's not <coughs> it's not like unedible you know what i mean so but you have to eat it responsibly unless you're just a beast at spicy foods you know some people some people are okay um Very good. You guys did a good product here. Wow. I have a little bit of a information about the company. Pretty interesting, I think. <clears throat> I keep saying that my wife typed this up. She wanted me to make sure that everybody knows that she didn't type this up. She copied and pasted a lot of the information that was already on the website. Just key, you know, key stuff. So, um, <clears throat> back in the 80s, she was, she, she would type, but she don't do that anymore. Okay, so title is About Poor King Good. Before I go too far, <clears throat> where you can buy these. You can go to the website, Forking Good website. You can get them at Amazon.com. You can go to Netrition.com. You can go to Walmart.com and find them there. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Porking Good is a proudly quirky pork rind company out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, who strives to fill the gap in the market for low-carb and high-protein savory snack and cooking options. Since launching in 2018, Pork, Pork King Good 
has been constantly innovating with incredibly unique flavor profiles that have taken the pork rind market by storm. Cooked in their own pork fat and boasting clean labels with no artificial ingredients, colors, or flavors, Porking Good Pork Rind products feature a light and fluffy melt-in-your-mouth texture that customers just can't get enough of. It's what I keep saying. Um, I've said on a few of the reviews. <coughs> <coughs> so far <coughs> in pork rinds you'll find some of those really really hard they look like meteors you know they they look like like meteors that have already started burning up coming into the atmosphere but yet you know you go to bite on them things and they about bust your teeth out you know they just the, the crunch is just so loud that it echoes your brain your skull so uh and man some people's teeth just can't handle some of those really really hard things so so far i have not found any of those in here they've all been quality really good pork rinds okay to continue most importantly pork king good is a small business with a fun loving and passionate team of incredibly hard-working people behind it to sum up our mission we're just making the snacks that we would want to eat ourselves and sharing them with the world, all while maintaining a sense of humor. On May 27, 2022, the Porky Company of Wisconsin was acquired by Porking Good, a quirky, a quirky and unique pork rind brand with a fanatically loyal customer base led by Lauren Costa. Porking Good launched in 2018 as a customer of the Porky Company, of Wisconsin and quickly grew into one of the one of the Porky Com Porky Company's largest customers largest customers with their innovative flavor <coughs> lineup <coughs> at pork rinds along with their best selling pork rind crumbs a zero carb bread crumb alternative Lauren sent me some of the some of those we're gonna try to figure out what we can do with them. And they got they put some ideas on the actual containers so that sound interesting none of this would it be possible if it weren't for the unrivaled quality product that porky company of wisconsin has perfected for over 74 years and porking good is thrilled at the opportunity to continue on this tradition with this acquisition porking good becomes the only woman-owned pork rind manufacturing business in the country we are eager to grow the company and to carry on the generations of recipes and manufacturing processes that have been a staple of Milwaukee snack food manufacturing industry since 1953. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Also, this will be a review coming up. Maybe not today. I better give, give my throat and stomach a break, but she sent me some Red hot pickled Polish sausages made with peak, peak, made with beef and pork. Look at that. Man. Okay. W one more? One more. Okay. The heat has died down. It's starting to, to, to go away. I'm probably going to be the only one eating these, so I'm looking for just a little bit hotter one. I mean, just a little bit more, one with some color. That's pretty good. Here it comes. <clears throat> yeah. 
Yeah, these are good. I'm, I'm actually glad that they're not like ridiculously hot to the point where, you know, I, I almost just like have to spit it out because it's too much. Um, or I have to take a bunch of milk and just go, 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 guzzle it down. Because these, I can, I can eat, I can eat them. Sometimes when you get a product that's just like too intense, it, it doesn't get eaten like quick enough. Um, and just kind of stays rolled up and pinned, pinned down. And then you forget about it and then they're all stale. These, I can, I can chew on these with, um, when we play like Mario, my wife and son. And I, uh, we'll get a bowl of mixed, you know, mixed our mix our snacks with some some cheese its and maybe some chips or some triscuits, and then I put a you know couple of this kind of stuff in there and just kind of make a little mixed snack bowl, and um, that way I can know that I can add this to my snack bowl. You know, I'll, I'll be the only one eating them. I don't think any my wife and dad, but she's not, she's not going to eat these. Jeremy. Mm, I don't know. He'll probably try one, <laughs> but I don't know if you <laughs> eat too many, you know, too many of them. Of them. So it's going to be a dad snack right here. Um, I'll, I'll put that. I'll put that in the hashtags. Hashtag dad snacks. Uh, so anyway, yeah, these would be a good. Th this one right here in particular would be a, a good, a good like Father's Day type of a gift. Um, It would be. It's cool looking too. Just that bag alone. I've mentioned it in one of the reviews. I kind of like to keep this bag. Tack it up on my board. But uh, okay. Well I'm going to end it here. I thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you to Lauren Costin for sending me these. We got lots of more reviews. We got some spices and stuff. All kinds of stuff to try out of their products. Go to their, go to their website and look at all the products that they have um and watch watch my reviews of their products um to see my opinion but you don't have to just settle with my opinion you know get them for yourself and you know get your own opinion on them look at other reviews of them um i, I actually didn't check to see if there are other reviews of them but uh, anyway go to the website um www.porkinggood.com find them on facebook it's like twitter um ask them questions there's a phone number i'm sure not on here but i think probably on facebook you can find a phone number if you want to call google it you know but there you go all right now i'm gonna end it here thank you all for watching i appreciate it and uh these are good these are good all right, <clears throat> see you on the next one.